Welcome to The Endless Knot. Uh, we just got back from EDUCON and VidCon in LA and Anaheim, and because we'll be traveling more for the next little while, uh, we won't be able to get out another main video uh, uh, very soon. So we took the opportunity while we were at VidCon and EDUCON to uh, do some uh, interviews with a few of our uh, friends who are also educational YouTube creators. So you can check out their channels and have lots of great videos to watch while you wait for our next video to come out. We had a little fun and I asked each of them to nominate a particular word that was meaningful to them uh, so that I could etymologize it for them. So there are lots of great etymologies in this video as well. Now be aware, uh, these were filmed in a variety of different filming locations uh, with different background noises and so forth, so there's a little bit of unevenness here, but I think you'll find the interviews quite fun. We put together a playlist of all the videos of theirs that they mention, and we'll also put links to individual videos in the comments, so do check those out. Enjoy! Hi, thank you for being here. <laughs> Hello, thank you for letting me be here. <laughs> so why don't you uh, introduce your channel and tell us about it? Sure, uh, my channel is called Articulations and I do videos on art, architecture and design. In the art part, a lot of it is about art history or art theory and architecture and design. A lot of it is about like architecture and design theory. And I would say a video to start with if you're not familiar with the channel is um, look for the video why do people hate modern architecture and I will tell you why <laughs> so. and that's probably a good video to start with so yes. yeah head over to that so have any interesting uh, little stories or things about your Educon so far we're just beginning but mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say, um, so I just did a collaboration with uh, my friend Shero from The Roving Naturalist and uh, we got to use the space and uh, we, uh, I also did a lighting class and I, we had a lot of uh, the YouTube staff just help us out in like setting up uh, cameras and lighting equipment and I managed to get one of their teleprompters so that I could use it <laughs> cool. and it's just been a really good experience of them just letting us utilize their space. Great. Do you have a word that you'd like to know the history of? I do and actually uh, regarding my collaboration so it's gonna be a video about birds flying into windows um, so I, my word uh, is defenestrate. Defenestrate? This is an odd word because it was invented for one particular occasion, the, the famous defenestration uh, of Prague in 1621, uh, when uh, three Catholics were thrown out a window by some Protestant radicals. Mm. And it comes from Latin, uh, made up of Latin elements, de, which means from or down from, and fenestra, which means window. So it's literally out the window. Um, and fenestra, we don't know exactly where it comes from, but it might come from the Etruscan language, uh, a sort of extinct, now extinct language in Italy. Awesome. So if I was throwing someone out of a vin window, I can say, I defenestrated this person. Exactly. Perfect. Exactly. <laughs> so again, the channel is Art Articulations. And uh, thank you, Betty. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us about your channel? All right. Well, hi. My name is Willie, and uh, I run a channel called Canubis. It's like a social studies channel that's like just about like how the world works in simple, short videos. And is there a particular video you think our viewers might like to start with? Um, well, I think. Uh, I think just for like a typical video of mine, uh, like my latest video as of the filming of this, my latest video is a video on how the Schengen area works. Uh, recently the video I made that I've been the most proud of is like a little departure from my normal format, but it's uh, my video, Everything You Need to Know About Hong Kong. Right. Cool. And do you have any interesting stories or things that have happened so far here at VidCon? Yeah. Well, I mean, today's uh, the first day, but uh, as I was uh, walking into a panel uh, to get ready to see the panel, uh, I did get someone uh, come up to me and ask, like, hey, are you Canubis? And I said, yes. And uh, so he asked me to sign his badge. So I basically just got to, uh, got to sign my first real autograph today. Cool. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a word you'd like to know more about? <clears throat> um, I think uh, 
you know, since alliterative is a channel in etymology, I think I'd like to know more about the etymology of the word etymology itself. Yeah. Well, it comes from a Greek uh, root that, uh, uh, etymos, that means truth. Um, and so, you know, the original uh, sense of etymology was the, the sort of study of the truth behind words, but of hmm. course now we use it to mean not the truth necessarily, but the origin of words. Um, and words, of course, change meaning over time, so it's not necessarily the truth per se, but, uh, but that is the original meaning behind it. So remember, uh, the channel is called Canubis. Check it out. So welcome. Why don't you tell us a bit about your channel? Oh, my channel is called Knowing Better. I do history, government, and psychology. I typically do topics that people know a little bit about, but I kind of deep dive into them so that you can know the backstory or maybe some of the more uh, difficult terms that you've probably run across, stuff like that. Cool. And is there a particular video you'd recommend our viewers maybe start with on your channel? Yeah, I recently did a pair of videos on uh, Dante's Divine Comedy and John Milton's Paradise Lost and how a lot of Christian beliefs actually come from that fan fiction rather mm -hmm. than from the Bible. Mm -hmm. And that was a, that series took like two months and it was <laughs> a big deal, so that one. Cool. Yeah. So is, is there anything uh, interesting about your VidCon experience so far that you like to mention? Just being able to put faces to names of people that I've been in contact with forever or are an animated channel, right. like finally being able to meet the, meet person. the person. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So again, Knowing Better is the channel. Go check it out. Okay, welcome Cypher. Uh, why don't you introduce your channel to us? So I'm the uh, cynical historian, and I focus on like analytical history, sometimes doing movie reviews, um, and kind of just whatever I'm feeling like doing scholastic scholarship-wise. Cool. And it, do you think there's a particular video you would recommend to our viewers to start on your channel? Well, especially for this channel, it has to be something uh, etymologically oriented. So, and I haven't done one of those in a while. Um, Maybe the uh, Philippines one. That was a long time ago, though. Um, which is basically talking about how, like, we get the word boondocks. Right. Um, and there's a lot of violence in that word. <laughs> cool. So, do you have any uh, interesting stories or things that have happened so far at VidCon? Um, well, we were in a hall just, like, a, about an hour ago that had lost air conditioning. Not a good and, thing to happen at VidCon. Yeah, there were like 500 people around just like, Ugh! <laughs> it's not 500, it's like 100, but you know, still. So what word do you want to know about? Nation. Nation, okay. Well, nation, the word nation goes back to uh, a root that means, uh, it's the basically to be born, to give birth. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it is also the uh, the root of words like pregnant, renaissance, and uh, native. Renaissance? Yeah. Rebirth, huh. renaissance. Fascinating. Because, <laughs> especially considering the way it's continuing to morph, mm -hmm. especially like native has native. become a politically charged word. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Cool, so again, uh, the channel is The Cynical Historian, uh, so check that out. So welcome, Cheryl. Why don't you introduce yourself and your channel and tell us a little bit about it. Sure, thanks. Uh, so hi, I'm Cheryl, the roving naturalist, and on my channel I want to answer all of the questions you never knew you had about how humans and the environment interact. So it's a lot of biology and environmental science content, but seen through the lens of human culture, art, psychology, things like that. And is there a particular video you would recommend our viewers start with? Um, yeah, actually the one that I just published, um, What is an Ecosystem, is sort of the first video in what will hopefully be a very long playlist where I'm going to be exploring all of the ecosystems on Earth and what uh, characteristics sort of define them. Cool. Yeah. 
So do you have any interesting uh, story or uh, thing that's happened to you at uh, VidCon or EduCon so far? Oh boy, um, I don't know that it's like an interesting story per se, but I just really like um, being here in the same physical location as all of my internet friends yeah. and getting a chance to like hang out and network with people and you know nerd out and brainstorm about things. Like we can have good conversations online, but being in person is so much more valuable, I think. So. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a word that you'd like to know more about? I do. Um, I have always felt a lot of like personal resonance with the word quirky, and I'd love to know what the background of that word is. Well, the really interesting thing about the word quirky is that it used to have a different meaning. It used to mean shifty. Oh, <laughs> that's not so good. <laughs> not so good. Uh, and its etymology is uncertain, but it might be connected to the word queer, in which case it would go back to a Proto-Indo-European root, uh, turqua, which meant to turn. Hmm. Interesting. So, like, turning off of the main path? Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> Thanks. So, again, uh, the channel is called Ruby Naturalist, and you should check it out. So, welcome. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself and your channel? Yeah, so my name is Corey. I run a channel called 12 Tone. I'm a music theorist, so I make videos about music theory, uh, and sort of in a hand-drawn animation style, and we look at uh, popular music and also sort of the deeper structures of a lot of different musical models. Cool, and is there a particular video that you think our viewers should start with? Uh, so a lot of our most popular videos are the song analyses, the stuff we do where we look at often rock songs, sometimes pop songs. Uh, one that I might recommend would be our one on Comfortably Numb by mm. Pink Floyd or Money by Pink Floyd mm. or I don't know, whatever, whatever, whatever songs you're interested in, really, we've done a lot, but yeah. But, yeah. Cool. And uh, do you have any interesting tidbit from your time so far at either EduCon or VidCon? Uh, I mean, probably the most interesting thing that's happened uh, is I got to sit down for a while with uh, Sarah Urist Green from the Art Assignment, mm -hmm. and just like during dinner at EduCon, just like happened to sit next to each other and just had like a long conversation about like art and the art world and how the art world is different from the music world and how it's the same and just about like the difference in reception between like different types of theory and it was like it was a really deep and interesting conversation with a very very smart person who works <laughs> in a related field and knows a lot of this stuff too so it was, it was a really fun time. Cool. So, did you have a word you'd like me to tell you a little more about? Yeah, so there's um, one thing that I've been interested in or curious about for a while is just in music, or in, when we talk about scales, especially at the major scale, there's like a, different names for each different note in the scale. Mm -hmm. And there's sort of three primary important ones. There's the tonic, which is the root that it's built on top of, and the third note is the mediant, and then the fifth is the dominant. And the first two of those, the etymology is fairly obvious. Like tonic is the tonal center, tonal, tone, tonic, mm -hmm. and then mediant, it's the midpoint between the other two. But I never understood dominant. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> uh, so dominant goes back to Latin, uh, domus, which means house. Um, and, uh, and it goes even further back to Proto-Indo-European with that house sense. Uh, but it uh, also then come, uh, gets expanded into word like um, dominus, which means lord, and uh, dominare, to, to command, to rule over, or whatever. Um, so it's that sense that uh, it, dominant came into English first, just in a general sort of, you know, to be dominant, yeah. to rule over, to command. Um, it doesn't get used in the musical sense until as late as 1816, which is quite, in some ways, I suppose, a bit surprising. But in the, uh, on the other hand, if you think yeah. about how music theory is yeah. being developed, a lot of stuff time. developed around that yeah. later. But what I find really interesting is that, unsurprisingly, tonic in the musical sense goes back to the earlier to the 18th century but subdominant is is recorded in english anyways before dominant hmm. in 1803 not a lot before yeah. but a little bit before uh, now they're both words are probably being used in other languages than english in the musical sense before that so i'm guessing it actually probably comes from french from french theorists first but it could be italian hmm. I'm, I'm thinking french. a lot of it is italian a lot of it is italian <laughs> So, it's going to be yeah. one or the other. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Interesting. Yeah. So again, the channel is 12 Tone. Uh, you should check it out. So welcome. Why don't you introduce yourself and your channel? My channel is Mr. Beat, and my name is Mr. Beat. <laughs> Social Studies channel. 
cool. And uh, is there a particular video you would recommend uh, our viewers to start with on your channel? Well, my latest video that is educational um, is uh, South Dakota, North Dakota Compared. It's a geography and history series where I compare two places and uh, sometimes get people all riled up and talking <laughs> trash against each other. So, Which is better. Cool. Yeah. And uh, is, do you have any interesting thing uh, about VidCon or EduCon that's happened so far? Anything uh, fun you'd like to mention? I think just when I didn't think it was possible to meet more educational YouTubers, I met like twice as many as I expected. Like I thought I knew what this world, you know, we all kind of know each other, but today there's at least probably 25, 30 new educational YouTubers that I met. I was like, holy crap, where, where have you been? <laughs> so yeah, the world is bigger than we initially realized. <laughs> cool. So you have a word or really a phrase you'd like to hear more about. What's that? Yeah, I've always been fascinated by um, uh, pull the, pull oneself up by their bootstraps because I know it originally had a different kind of meaning, yeah. um, but now it's a, like people seem to think that yeah, like if you want to make it in the United States, especially, always gets associated with this. But you know, yeah. you got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps and go get it. Yeah, yeah, that sort of self-made man kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's right. It did have a different meaning originally. It referred to doing the sort of seemingly impossible. <laughs> and it seems to have uh, possibly come from, uh, or at least the inspiration for the phrase might have come from uh, one of the adventure stories of Baron von Munchausen, in which he doesn't pull himself up by his bootstraps, but he pulls himself and his horse out of a mire by pulling on his own ponytail. <laughs> so to do the sort of seemingly impossible thing yeah. and it was used uh, in sort of kind of physics questions as a thing you know what why doesn't this work sort of thing originally and then it moved into the sort of self-made man yeah why, it's, why don't you just go out there and do what's literally impossible, impossible. yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> okay so it's kind of the opposite today yeah of what yeah all right i'm glad i chose that one <laughs> cool so remember the channel is mr beat check it out thanks so welcome, Tristan. Why don't you introduce yourself and your channel? Sure. I'm Tristan from Step Back History, uh, found at stepbackhistory.com. I do, uh, vid do videos about history, uh, specifically trying to get away from stories of kings, generals, conquerors, and rulers, and such like that. Do you have a particular video you suggest our viewers start with on your channel? I think alliterative fans would probably get a kick out of one I did a very long time ago, which was about a delve through a old medical textbook called Bald's Leech Book, which resulted in a sty um, remedy for eye infections, which then, when tested, turned out to actually be an effective antibiotic against, against bacteria that we don't have antibiotics for. It's very cool. So, do you have any interesting thing to tell us about your VidCon experience? I've had a lot of fun times here at VidCon. I think the best thing I've seen so far is the kid who dressed up like they were an apology video, uh, <laughs> putting their head through this thing with lots and lots of ad breaks at the bottom uh, with, a, with a bunch of tissues. I think that's probably been the, the highlight of the visual sights of this place. Cool. So you have a word do you want to know more about. Yes, I am much to the chagrin of many of my subscribers, a pacifist, and I would like to know more about the roots of such a word. Certainly. Well, the word pacifist uh, comes from Latin pax, meaning peace, uh, and ultimately that goes back to Proto-Indo-European root pag, that means to fasten. So it's the idea of fixing a truce in a sort of pact. In fact, the word pact comes from that same root. It's also related to the word pagan, uh, because of the idea of boundary markers, because pagan originally referred to people out in the countryside. Okay. So it's about making a pact with the outsiders. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess you just add is to the end where you take it to its logical extreme. Yes. Okay. Exactly. That makes sense. So there you go. So again, check out the channel. It's called Step Back, uh, and uh, you'll find all the links. Also, like and subscribe to more of these. <laughs> So check all those videos out. Uh, check out the playlist and the in links to individual videos are in the description. And we'll be back with a new video in a little while.